Welcome back. It's great to see that you're still among the living, for now. You are probably bitten or infected by now and wishing to pass the time, such things are inevitable in a zombie apocalypse, but it's alright, if you die at least someone else will find this cassette player. So please, if you do find yourself facing the inevitable, remember to place this cassette in its original box and place it on the table for a more capable survivor. If you just picked up this cassette from someone else then congratulations on acquiring this survival guide. We hope you last longer than the last one. Today's lesson is Fishing Fishing is a survivalist skill, and an activity that allows you to use a fishing rod combined with bait to catch various types of fish. As fishing levels improve, so does the quality of fish you are able to catch, along with actually catching something, the chance to break the line, the chance to lose the bait, and the chance to lose the fish if baited. This ability is a great way to feed yourself if you have decided to camp near the river, as a single fish could feed you for a day. Fishing is a useful skill to choose in West Point, or Riverside, as West Point and Riverside is much closer to bodies of water than Muldraw. To begin fishing, you must have a fishing rod and some bait in your main inventory. Bags do not count. Right-click on a river or lake to select the fishing for the fishing menu. Fishing takes about 5 seconds to complete. While fishing, the rod will occupy your main hand, and the bait will occupy your secondary, so you may want to make sure your fishing area is zombie-free. Experience is only gained when something is caught, even if it's junk such as socks. The player can overfish an area, where no more fish can be caught from said area until eventually replenished naturally. Chances of catching fish at dawn and dusk are between 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock and 1800 hours to 2000 hours, are increased, by one half an abundance level. From November to February the chances of catching fish are reduced, by one abundance level. The crafted spear reduces chances of catching compared to a fishing rod, by one half an abundance level. When using a fishing rod it is easier to catch while using live bait such as, bait fish, worm, cricket, grasshopper, and cockroach. But live bait can escape and is consumed when catching something. Fishing tackle requires higher levels of fishing to catch anything and is rarely consumed. Bait Worms are the most common bait to find. They can be found uncommonly while scavenging around the town, or frequently while digging with a trowel or removing grass. So long as it's the selected bait, a worm will be consumed every time the player fishes, even if they catch trash items like socks. Fishing tackle is found while scavenging, and has a higher chance of catching fish instead of trash. They have a durability, unlike both insects and bait fish, therefore they can be used more than once, reducing the weight for the bait that needs to carry. It is recommended to conserve any available fishing tackle, unless the player's fishing skill level is mid-range or higher. Bait fish are fish that have a chance of being obtained while fishing or using a fishing net trap. Bait fish can only catch pike, have a 50% chance to catch more junk, and are consumed when used as bait. Fish there are three types of size per fish. Little, medium, and big. Each type of fish has a minimum size and a maximum size. A number is chosen at random between the minimum size and the maximum size to get the fish size. Each fish has a weight modifier, for example trout has 60, meaning a trout of 30 centimeters with a weight modifier, 60 equals half a kilogram. Then the hunger reduction is based on the weight of the fish. The various types of fish that can be caught from common bass, to large pike. Note, numbers in green are weight modifiers. Fishing nets. Used to catch fishes, and catches bait fish instead. Place the fishing net in a body of water, like so. Important things to note. You can craft a fishing pole or rod with the following items. Nails and paper clips can be used as hooks. Fishing lines and twine are limited on the map so you will be needing to use a spear eventually. The longer you survive the more primitive are the methods you need to adopt in order to stay alive. That about does it for this episode. If you managed to watch this episode all the way through to the end without getting bitten then congratulations. Now get out there and catch some fish. However, if you did get bitten during or after watching this episode, Please remember to eject the cassette from the VHS player and kindly place it on display for the next survivor. One suggestion is to leave a note by the survivor guide and lock yourself in a bathroom. Alternatively you can strip naked, 
Leave everything in a bag for the next survivor. Run out the front door. And die with dignity. That's all for today, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching and remember to share this video with your friends. Or keep it for yourself. It doesn't matter, you're all doomed anyway. Bye for now.